Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Isaiah 41.10. So, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So, yeah. Um, just holding strong in my faith, holding strong that I'm doing what... God has led me to do, um, just holding faithful, um, holding for strength, holding to get through things. Um, what I can't do by myself, I can do through him. So, yes. All right. <clears throat> Let's see where to begin. Crochet update. Okay. I finished it. I have <laughs> this end to weave in and cut off, but... It is one to give away. It's just a prayer shawl. It has not been blocked. Okay. So, has not been blocked. But it is complete. Um, yeah. I think it'll look a lot better once it's blocked. But it is actually longer than my arms. But there it is. It's all done. I will be blocking it and putting it away. Working the ends. And then getting it, you know, off the project list. I did start working on the purple one. Um, oh, I am so sorry. I did not bring it in here because it's huge and I'm literally just putting length on the bottom with the, I call it the filet stitch. I really don't know what they're called, um, but it's a double crochet, then a space of a single crochet, skip one and double crochet again. And then all I have to do is start <clears throat> after I get to the length that I want it minus a few inches I'm gonna put the collar on by going all the way around so yeah it is what it is sorry my sinuses are messing up on me all right so I've been working on that I've got a lot going on um, so I got for Macy's uh, bridal shower, which is in two weeks. It's in 13 days. Um, I got the games bought, and I got my derby hat. I think I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby tonight and get me some glitzy little ribbon and maybe some uh, fake flowers and just, you know, on the side or something. You know, just put a glitzy, tie it on there. Whoops, sorry. Hmm. Um, should have fixed that before I started, huh? Uh, I'm going to put like a glitzy ribbon headband with a few little flowers on it just to make it derby worthy. If not, it's my garden hat. Um, I did get one that has an adjustable band, but it, I don't have to adjust it for my head. It fits just fine. <laughs> I guess that means I have a big head. I don't know. But there's my derby hat for her. Um, now i got to tuck this back up in there. Uh, for her bridal shower. Okay. Or sun hat. You know. So. But I am going to go, like I said, and find some glitzy style ribbon. And make me my own personal cutesy hat band. So, yeah. There it is derby worthy and I think I'm good uh I did get the games the last thing that I have to do for that and I have two weeks to do it of course and I can't really do it early is the food I'm gonna go to Sam's and buy the pin rolls that she likes and then I'm going to make some wheat and some white chicken sandwiches and cut them in triangles uh chicken salad sandwiches and then I have to make cupcakes so um unfortunately no bakery will touch them because they have bourbon in them um they're uh mint julep now anybody who cooks with alcohol knows that this cooks out but no one can do them because they have alcohol in them. so i will be doing them myself not the first time but hey um but yeah so there's that. I'm on track with that. I just literally 
I have to doll up my hat, my hat. I've got to box up and wrap the gifts yet. Um, I've gotten quite a few. Uh, yeah, I've gotten quite a few. So, yeah. Uh, I'll have to uh, do a wedding gift unboxing video, I guess. Um, maybe I'll put it up in the middle of the week, you know, just to show you what all I have gotten her. And it basically didn't cost me anything of the money that I wouldn't have spent anyway, except for one gift, which I bought that I absolutely thought was beautiful. It wasn't even on her list. I found it and that's what I got her. Her and him. It's just one more thing to add to that little track there of odds and ends. So, all right. The final update that I have that is going on is the tiny house. And have you ever had one of those aha moments that you got wrong? Hmm. Okay. So what do I mean by that? I mean, I had set some goals and I knew I was going to be off Monday, October 14th. I knew that the lumber yard would be open so I could take delivery of wood. I just knew that I should be able to get the land cleared and I should be able to take delivery of the floor stuff. Okay, now, sounds great in theory, but let me tell you what happened Saturday. I went out there and the wind was a light breeze. I drank more water than I had normally. I didn't feel bad at all. Um, then once I got back to this house, I took on another task that was outside and physical labor and, um, which I'll tell you about here in a few minutes. And By that night, I was so dehydrated that my inner thigh legs were cramping so badly that I could not stand and I was almost in tears. Okay. There is no deadline on the house. There is no deadline on the land. Yes, I'm going to be off October 14th. Yes, I probably can go and get the land cleared. Okay. But... God put a big stopper in front of me and said, hey, you need to be realistic. There's no timeline on these goals that I've set for myself, okay? So, I'm also off at the end of October, beginning of November. I can take a delivery then too. But, if I wait a little longer for this delivery and I collect a little bit more money, not only do I get this stuff for the floor, so I figured it out, it's going to be about... $700 to get the stuff to do the floor minus the insulation. Now there's a reason I'm not including the insulation. Um, it's going to be about $300 to get the plywood to do the actual flooring. So OSB is the sub flooring. Then there will be a layer of insulation. So it's going to go the joist, insulation, sub, -flo sub flooring, insulation, and then the actual flooring. And then on top of that, I will put, I'm not going to do carpet, but I am going to do probably some tile or linoleum. I don't want to do linoleum. I just don't, I haven't thought about what the final floor is going to be, but it is going to be moppable and sweepable. I'm not doing this carpet with a vacuum and all that. Um, anyway, so that, and then the walls, the wood for the walls, okay, just the studs and the two by fours. It's going to be about $250. The insulation for the walls is going to be about four to five hundred dollars. Now, doesn't sound like much, okay? But if I take and get, so I'm going to ask them to do a delivery for the $700 worth of flooring stuff with the wood, um, the plywood, which is my flooring. This OSB, which is a sub flooring, 
all the joists, all the 8x20s, 8 by whatevers um, the 2x6s, 2x8s, all that wood. If I have enough money, I'm also going to have them deliver the wood for the walls because they're not going to do a delivery, okay, for $200 here, $200 there, $200. But you put it all together, $1,100, and yes, they'll deliver that much. So by the end of the month, I think I can have all the money together to do the floor. That means put in all the joists, um, put in the subflooring, have the plywood for the final flooring. Now, there's a reason that I'm not worried about the insulation. The, the floor insulation comes in 100 foot rolls. I can lay down the seats of my car in the same way that I have been transporting the uh, saw and the uh, weed whacker, uh, weed eater. I can transport those rolls of insulation. Okay, that's the other thing is the wall insulation. It will fit in my car. I will roll down the seat, you know. So, yeah, once I get that done, um, all of the other things, the two insulations, if I get the walls and the wood and the floor joists and all of that in my car and get it out there, have them deliver it to me. Now, where they're going to have to deliver it to, then I got to cart it and put it all in the building. but that's okay yeah that's perfectly okay um once i get it in there then i'm good to go i can actually go out there when the weather is not so great and work because i'll be inside no it won't be insulated yes i'll have to have a jacket on um but it's no it, it's a lot better than working outside you know so stressing myself to a point of being unhealthy just to take delivery on a certain day because I want it in there. I want it in before winter so that this winter I can work on the floor and getting the walls up and getting it insulated. And get... There is no timeline. Roommate hasn't said I have to be out by such and such day. I still have years that I can work on this. <laughs> I do not have to put myself in that position to be unhealthy and put my health at risk for, you know, finishing this. There is no timeline. I'm putting that stress on myself and there's no reason for it. So, I have my plans drawn up for my floor. I have decided how I'm going to do it. I went out and I took um, measurements, okay? Now remember, this is us doing it. Is it perfect? No. Um, it's not. We got, so, and I don't know how much is, of it is the drought shifting. Um, we're off like by one inch. So one of these sections, oh, I'm sorry, two inches. So one of the sections equal, uh, measures out 113 inches. The next one measures 113. And then long ways, it's 114 inches on each section. So then we got 113, 130. Yeah, and there's one section that actually measures only about 99. So the pole has shifted a little bit, but that's okay. We will get the floor in and I'll make the best of it. And it's my house. So if it's not perfectly square, as long as it's sealed up tight, insulated, uh, sound um i'm good with that i have nobody's gonna know because i don't care if they know okay if it's i don't think it'll be obvious when you have those sections up there nobody's gonna be up there with tape my, oh this one's two inches off nobody's gonna see that so i'm not worried about it but i do have a plan for it being off and doing my floor and i'm going to add in a couple of uh, two by sixes and we're going to go from there because I'm uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run them okay 
so because it's not perfectly square, I want to make sure that it's perfectly supported. Okay, and that's my big thing. I'm not worried about the square. Yeah, corners might be okay. But where the two centers are, I am going to run my joists down like this. Okay, so they're going to hook in to there. And along these walls, okay, uh, the reason I say they're going to hook into there, I don't know if you can see it, that is where the 5x5s five five are. So it's built with 5x5s, five five and I am going to nail an extra ring around five inches inside the outside of it by, with five by fives. The center will have extra, um, I'm going to nail together two, what are they, eight by, I'm sorry, two by eight, 20 foot, two by eights, and make a beam and put that beam in there. And with the support of that beam, I'm also going to um, block it on cinder blocks and double support the extra beams of those floors. So, um, yeah, nothing will span. It, it'll be one solid piece, but it'll have the extra support from underneath um, with two by eight. So, yeah, I figured out what I'm going to do, what would, blah, blah, blah. I did take measurements. I take pictures. Um, I'm literally going to attach the floor to the outside edge of the building, put in the extra support, the cinder block support. The, I have the cinder blocks out there. So I have a lot of this stuff, but my main goal is to get one load of everything that I need that's that won't fit in my car. Um, now the sheetrock and that will have to probably be another delivery. Um, it will have to be done when it's not raining. It will have to be done when it's not, you know, this, that, and the other. And the other question is, is am I going to do sheetrock or am I going to do paneling? Um, they've got some really nice plywood looking I could do wooden or I could do that um, oh what is it the the log cabin looking stuff yeah so I'm not sure what the inside finish is gonna be I know that I want it white or light and I want the beams um, the poles in the center dark so yeah that's all I know which those are going to have to be sanded down once I get the floor in and the walls in and see what's exposed and what's not. Um, then I'm going to, I am going to leave about an inch exposed and then we're going to sand them and make them look real pretty. So anyway, off topic. Uh, <laughs> so many plans, so many things going on in my head. And my big thing is, is that I also have time off around the wedding. So they get married this second. I'm also off the third, fourth, and fifth. Third is on a Sunday. The fourth and fifth, of course, Monday, Tuesday. I could take possession of the wood those days and move it down and get it inside. So, yeah. <laughs> There's a hundred ways that I can do this. All I have to do is be patient. Don't nope, kill myself trying to get this done. And I'm not really sure why I think that the land has to be cleared. I do need a clear pathway to the house so that I can get the stuff in there. But nobody said all of it has to be cleared at once. But here's my thought. Slow down. Yes, you've been going out every Saturday. Don't have to kill yourself. Um, get the land in shape so that it's not continuing to get overgrown and while the weather is doable once it starts to rain and winter sets in then i can be inside i can bundle up and be inside that shelter and actually work you know without having to worry about the consequences of the weather so 
do what I need to do outside while the weather's good. No timeline on it. And get the stuff in there to work on the weather because I can't wait. It can't be muddy and nasty and all that to take delivery. It's got to be these drought conditions are perfect for taking delivery. And that's kind of why I'm got to take delivery. So, enough of that. Let's move on to the update of what all I did Saturday. Um, I did go out and I did um, clear some more. I fixed the swing, cleared some more. Uh, then, after that, I did something else. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I have two little short videos. Um, so, here is the tiny house update. Okay, guys. So, this is this week's uh, tiny house update. I'm sorry. The wind is feeling pretty good right now, to be honest with you. Um, this end doesn't look any different. Didn't make it very far. I cleaned up what I had done last week because I forgot the rake. Um, but the biggest improvement, once you get past these two big burn piles, they will decompose down some before we even burn them. Um, I say we, me. So there is, this is where the garden was. That's where the asparagus was. I'm thinking there's none in there because it just really had Johnson grass everywhere. So that will be put back. Again, I'm watching for stump, so sorry about the thing. And I didn't get as far as I wanted on this, um, but I did find the corner over there. And I did clear the entire back fence line. Okay, I say clear. I cut down everything on the back fence line and I found the fence line over there. So basically from where I'm standing front to back, this is totally down. That is down. It just won't fall over and I don't care. I'm like, yeah, I cut it down. It'll be dead next time and it will fall over in the wind. But I did a lot of work on my fence line here because these trees have gotten up all grown up. I've got one that's too big. I got to take and take it out. I don't want them that close. There's actually two right there that have to come out. These two little ones have to come out. Um, that one right there is half dead and so it has to come out. This one I'm actually contemplating leaving. Um, but the north wind would probably blow it on the house so I'm thinking I might top it if that makes sense. Um, this second one here is mostly dead and it will have to come out. And as you can tell, and I don't look at the branches on the ground because I don't have it cleared up. Um, I do have to bring a bigger sawzall, a, a bigger saw. Um, I did this just with my loppers, snippers, whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, I just got to get the branches out of there. Honestly, I think I'm going to uh, make some of this into firewood. So I'm going to let it dry out before we burn. And then anything that's substantial in size, I'm going to keep this firewood. So yeah, behind the swing, this is all cleared out. Okay, not cleared out. It's all cut down. So I still have to get everything out of here. I need to bring, instead of bringing a rock rake next week, I'm going to bring a leaf rake. So my little, I need to trim him some little thingies here. Make him like that one. Um, yeah, but I think I'm gonna leave those two pecan trees. I really like them. Uh, we'll see how big they get, and if they get to be a threat on the house. If they do, they too will go. Um, it is what it is. Um, but I'm honestly pretty happy with as far as I've gotten today. Uh, I have put a deadline on myself, which I have a backup plan, but yeah. I also got some measurements from inside the house so I can order the floor stuff and that'll be kind of the deadline. I'll talk to y'all about that in the podcast. So I am actually done heading out. I have made a lot of progress. I think once these big old piles get burnt, it will definitely look a whole lot better. 
but um, yeah they have to be and that and when I leaf rake because this is there's no grass here and no chance for grass to grow because of all the trimmings so I need to leaf rake the entire thing but until I get it under control where I can do that a little at a time that will have to wait so um, yeah and then I gotta figure out how to get this bucket off of here I can't remember if it's got a bottom or not I think it does but I think a saw will do it I don't know but it might just have to stay there for a while anyway but as you can tell I've gotten quite far back I did find the little strawberry bed is back there that will have to be redone the asparagus bed is there and next week I hope to have all of this finished up into here um yeah because that's honestly it's really thin if I can get it down clearing it is something I can do you know over time but I just got to get it down at this point that's my goal is like let's just get this stuff down on the ground but probably not the best thing to do because I need to clear it as I go but I am going to let it die out some before I uh, go to clearing it. I've noticed it's lighter. It, you know, gives a little bit easier. And it is what it is. But, yeah. So, other than that, there is the update. And I know it doesn't look like the front half has been done. But that back there, I've gotten a ton done back there. So, it's actually starting to shape up and look like cleared land. So, I'm happy with that. And like I said, next week I'll get from the tree on over up to here. And I'll just have this little patch left um, when I leave. If that, hopefully I'll get through that too. <laughs> I have goals. We'll discuss it in the podcast. Okay, so once I got back here, roommate is working on wood for keeping the house warm during the winter. Um, somebody had some wood that they just needed out of their driveway. So they loaded it up and brought it over to us. So roommate was cutting it up and decides, let's go down to the pond and see if we can't pull that tree. So we worked on the tree again. So here's a little clip of um, what was going on down at the pond. Just got back from the farm. The pond is way down. And roommate and I are gonna try and get some more of this tree out. Um, the water was way up to here when we were doing it last time and now it's way down there so we should be able to take some uh, more wood out of it and hopefully get it maybe lift it up and out of there we don't know what's holding it up but with it not being so waterlogged <laughs> that's all frogs all the froggies they're here of all sizes. But, yeah. It's down quite a bit, so I'm going to get to work on this. And then I better make sure I take some ibuprofen because I worked hard at the farm, now I'm working hard out here. It is what it is. Okay, by 5 o'clock that night, my inner thighs were cramping so bad that I could not stand um, you know I always try to walk it off but oh my gosh it brought tears to my eyes I have never had now I've always had my calves um, cramp up never had my inner thighs and what it comes down to is the wind was blowing making it seem cooler and I didn't drink enough um, I took, now I drank more than normal, but here's the kicker. I took water. Um, I did not take anything with electrolytes or uh, essential vitamins and minerals that is going to help my body recover. And it was still hot out, but the wind was making it feel so cool. So I didn't think I needed as much. I didn't get so hot. Yeah, but my body still exerted the same amount of pressure and force when I was working as the other days. So, did myself in, and that's when it came up 
and God slapped me in the face and said, why are you pushing so hard? Why does this have to be a, it needs to be on God's timeline and God will take care of it. So, um, I'm going to get a little bit more money together. Um, today is payday, so I've got to see how much I can scrape and save. Um, I think I can have all of it for all of the wood by wedding time, which is gives me another month. So I'm thinking that is probably what I want to do, take delivery of all of it. Then I can get in there, get the floor built, get the walls built. Um, I can transport the insulation in my car. Um, I have not decided what I'm doing with the ceiling yet. So that's something totally different. And we'll, I'll figure that part out once I get there. But as for right now, I have goals. Yes, I got them wrong. I need to slow down and I need to do it on God's timeline, not my own timeline. And he will take care of it all. Um, so, yeah. It is what it is. Learned my lesson. <laughs> Moving on. Um, like I said, I will videotape when I do take delivery and you'll, you guys will be the first to know. But right now it's still clearing the land. And I will keep just giving you a little short updates in there. I got quite a bit done this last weekend and not enough that it's no, noticeable i'm going to get a leaf rake because i think it's going to work better than the rock rake and the rock rake is just uh, it's a pain it's better than not having it though because i learned that the hard way so yeah i'm babbling on stuff y'all already know anyway i hope y'all have a great week i will see you next time and thanks for watching